Welcome to another Kevin's English School's English learning video. Listen to this story, take notes, and tell the story to a partner, maybe a friend or family member. Buzz. My phone vibrated. It was Lena. Let's explore. Favorite spots in town. Go, she declared. A grin spread across my face. Lena always up for an adventure. This was going to be fun. I quickly typed back, game on, where to begin? Okay, spill the tea, Lena texted back, her play on words making me chuckle. I pictured her, phone in hand, an eager smile on her face. There's this incredible tea shop downtown, I began, called Tranquilitea. The name says it all, really. Tranquilitea was my sanctuary, a place where time seemed to slow down. They have these incredible herbal blends, I continued, and the owner, Miss Lily, she's like a tea guru. Miss Lily had this uncanny ability to recommend the perfect blend for whatever ailed you. Whether it was a long day at work or a case of the pre-deadline jitters, Tranquilitea always had the answer. It's like stepping into a different world, I texted. A world of calming scents and soothing sounds. Lena, a fellow tea enthusiast, would adore it. Okay, I'm sold, Lena replied. Now, let's talk food. Where do you go for your culinary adventures? Her question brought a flood of flavors to my mind. This town was a melting pot of culinary delights, each dish a story waiting to be savored. There's this amazing little Italian place I typed called Nonna's Kitchen. It was tucked away on a side street, easy to miss if you weren't looking for it. Their pasta is homemade, I continued, and the aroma that hits you when you walk in is pure heaven. I could almost taste their signature dish, a creamy pesto pasta with sun-dried tomatoes and toasted pine nuts. It was pure comfort food, the kind that warmed you from the inside out. They also make the best tiramisu I've ever had, I added. It was the perfect ending to a delicious meal, a symphony of coffee and cocoa that lingered on your palate long after the last bite. Okay, you're definitely making me hungry, Lena replied. Her words made me smile. Food, after all, was meant to be shared, a sentiment that resonated deeply with me. All right, enough about food, Lena texted back. Time to get physical. Where do you go when you need to sweat it out? Her question took me by surprise. Lena, the queen of leisurely walks, was inquiring about fitness? This was intriguing. Well, I began, there's this incredible dance studio downtown. It was called Rhythm and Groove, and it was my secret weapon against stress and monotony. They offer everything from salsa to hip hop, I explained. The energy inside the studio was contagious, a vibrant mix of music, movement, and pure joy. I love their Zumba classes, I added, picturing myself amidst a sea of sweaty, smiling faces. It's the perfect way to let loose and have some fun while breaking a sweat, I texted, imagining Lena's reaction. She was always up for trying new things, and I had a feeling she'd love the positive vibes at Rhythm and Groove. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment.